today I just wanted to show you everything I got at the Goodwill bins for $30. Show me what you found. Look at that, look at that. Good job. Do you want it? Okay, tell us what you just found. Oh, I just found this router. Brand new, in the box. Everything in there. Going for 75 on Target, so we're gonna see what we can do. So it's been a couple days since I went to the bins. I went on Sunday and I spent about an hour and a half, maybe two hours there. And this is everything I got. The Goodwill bins in Oahu charge $1.25 per article of clothing, unless you get 24 or more. And then it keeps going up like it's a bigger discount the more you get. So I believe I got 10% off of that. So that makes each piece roughly $1.13. So I have everything in this massive pile. So I'm just gonna go through and show you everything I got. And unless I say otherwise, everything is gonna be on Poshmark. Everything is already listed. So my Poshmark is always linked down below. And if you're from this video, let me know and shoot me an offer because people who come from my videos get an extra discount. People who don't are gonna pay the price. <laughs> So first up, I have this cute little bikini top. It's a Target brand, but it had the tag still, so I felt like that was worth picking up. It's a small, usually $17.99. I really love this color. I wish it was in my size, actually, but yeah, isn't that cute? I love that little green. Then these I'm keeping. I do not have a child. I, I just, like, cannot sell these for some reason. <laughs> these are the cutest little baby Patagonia swim trunks. Are you kidding me? And also, they had, like, um... This one originally had that little plastic nub piece on there, and then this one was frayed. I just cut the plastic off, and I'm just going to allow this one to fray, and I just added a knot. So essentially, they're still, like, fine, but I am keeping this for my future baby, <laughs> which might be ridiculous, but I don't care. For some reason, these are so stinking cute to me, and I cannot bring myself to sell them. And then I had to originally pick them up to sell them, and then my husband was like, we should keep those. And I was like, yeah, we should keep those. <laughs> they're so cute. And then I found a second children's Patagonia little swim rash guard. It's got long sleeves. Um, super cute. It doesn't have the Patagonia logo on it anywhere. That was um, on the inside and then you can see it there which is cool because this is pretty new because a lot of times people cut this off so I was happy to see that. It'll definitely sell better with this tag attached so yeah I was really really happy to find that. This one I will be selling in great condition. It had a stain but I just used some stain remover and look at that good as new. Somebody donated this. That's insane. This is kind of a fun piece. It's not really like branded by any brand that I recognized. It's just a uh, J for Justify. It's a 1x and it's just a simple like midi dress that's sequins but I don't really have a lot of plus size clothing on my Poshmark and so I definitely wanted to pick something up that was a plus size that was like fun. I would definitely wear this. This is super cute. I don't know sometimes I get things that I think are maybe not like a huge profit but they just kind of like <laughs> bring me joy to sell so I was really happy I found that. That's super cute. Then I got this pair of airy shorts. These sell fairly well. They're a medium and they're pretty cute. Just a nice stripe. Just a nice beach short in good condition. A lot of times these will be like too worn down or fuzzy or like worn down um in between the thighs but these are like practically brand new and I got a pair of Levi's I don't know <laughs> I don't know what kind of Levi's these are I tried looking everywhere I tried comparing them to ones on the website and I'm not really sure they're a straight leg with a button fly they're a really small size they're size 25 so I don't know I'll probably sell these for cheap just because I'm not sure what like model they are or anything but yeah, they have that button here. Yeah, I don't know. It's cute. I mean, again, Levi's for $1.25. I know that they will sell. Just kind of a matter of, like, figuring out. I still want to try to figure out what style they are, but I don't know. So I'm just listing them for, um pretty cheap. These are so cute. I wish they were in my size. These are kids' pants by Zara. They're a size 9. 
and they're just this like cute cutesy green like adorable sage green color and they're a wide leg with a raw hem like this is literally my dream pant so cute so cute oh like i can't get enough of these they're adorable and then i picked up this ralph lauren polo it's in a size medium same thing had a little stain and uh i got it out let me get, grab my stain remover to show you what i use this is what I've been using for all of my thrifted and vintage stuff and it works really really good. It's the OxyClean Max Force. I was using Shout for a while which also works good. I feel like Shout works good for like just wear and tear stains like if you're just wearing your clothes but if you're buying and reselling I would get the OxyClean. It's kind of a thicker consistency and you can leave it on for a really long time. It says leave it on for up to a week so stains that I'm a little suspicious of I'll spray and literally let them sit for a couple days to really saturate then I'll spray it one more time before washing it and I feel like that does a really good job at getting all stains out. This was just kind of fun. I picked this up because it's got like a good texture to it. It's not just like a plain Jane button up, button down. My husband was so bummed too because this isn't in his size and he loves this shirt. So. so I was like, okay, if he likes it, then someone else will like it. But yeah, you can see it's got that logo in there. Really nice find. I was, yeah, I was satisfied with that one. <laughs> and then this was a personal buy for my husband. It's like this really fun collared shirt. It's a short sleeve, but it's got this like interesting texture to it. Kind of like a soft velvet almost. You can kind of see it on there and it's striped. This is kind of like a streetwear kind of look, like a skater boy outfit. <laughs> I'm sure that's what he has in mind. I think this is the only shirt that he picked up when we went, but um, it's super cool and I can't wait to see how he styles it. Then this dress kind of has the same vibes as the Ralph Lauren one. It's a gap dress and it's an extra small and it's got like a, that really nice eyelet texture. And it's like a v-neck with a really nice drawstring, pockets. Super cute. This is like something that I would wear. It's not in my size, but it's really gorgeous. And yeah, I just felt like I had to save that one. Then the next thing, dare I say, is the best thing from the haul. I found a pair of Lululemon Aligns in my size. In the most beautiful color. So I found these and they were inside out and I knew. I just like knew the seams on Lulu lines. So I turned it inside out and sure enough, we've got that golden logo. The one thing about them is, I don't know if you can see on camera, right here is like a light spot and I sprayed it with stain remover. It didn't come off. I think it's just like a bleach spot maybe, but it's literally so light. Like you can barely tell, right? And then the way you find your size on the Lululemons, for the line specifically, they have this like pocket on the inside. The sizing will be on the inside of that pocket. So you can see there, that little dot, it's a six. And that is the size that I wear. Everything on Lululemon will have that dot size. That's usually how you can tell if it's authentic. They mark everything with a dot and it's usually like hidden on the garment in a pocket or something like that. These are a personal keep. They're in my size. I love the color. I also found a pair of Lululemon lines at the Salvation Army a few months back and they're like in this deep burgundy purple color but they have a glue stain on the knee but I didn't care I was like I'm gonna buy these anyway because I I just wanted to have a couple pairs of Lulu's that I like don't care if they get ruined like if I go on a hike and it gets snagged if I get muddy if I'm doing like a home project if I get paint on them I'm not going to be devastated because uh they're only $1.25 <laughs> they are the only leggings I like to wear so I didn't want to just go to like a TJ Maxx or whatever and spend 12 bucks on a pair of leggings that I I hate how they feel I don't know maybe personal opinion after I tried Lulu lines like there's no way I'm going back <laughs> it's the only pair of leggings that I like so I was super stoked to have a cheap pair because yeah like when we move and stuff and have to deep clean our house this is what I'm going to be wearing because um they're just so comfortable and I like I hate the way that other leggings feel on me now I can't explain it but like if you know you know but yeah Lulu lines the bin for less than $1.25 that's a pretty banging deal. Then I picked up this H&M dress. It's just like this navy. It's really pretty actually. Um, I tried it on, it fits me, but I don't think it's like the perfect dress for me. So I think I'm gonna list it. It's, it's really gorgeous, really beautiful. H&M for me has sold really well. So, okay, so <laughs> this is like probably an hour after I filmed that video. I just like am wearing my comfy clothes. <laughs> I was posting a few more things because a few of the things I couldn't post right away because they had stains, whatever. But I wanted to make sure that everything was listed before I posted this video. I just posted this dress. This is the fastest sale I think I've ever had. Like I literally listed this dress and then listed one more thing and then I got a notification that somebody bought this dress. So in like 30 seconds, I've never had that happen. <laughs> That's insane. So I got this for like what, $1.13 at the bins and I just sold it for $15. So after Poshmark's fee, that's an earning of $12 and after the bins fees, that's like, like 10, 
$10.80 around there. So that's pretty good, taking $1.13 and turning it into almost $11 of profit. So that is crazy. I literally was talking about how well H&M sells. I like can't believe it. So sweet, we have something to ship off today. I just had to tell you guys that. I just like, my mind is blown at how fast that sold. This shirt I picked up for me for my personal wear. It's just kind of a fun top. Um, I don't know, I think this would be really cute tucked into trouser pants. It's got this really feminine ruffle going down the entire front of the blouse. And then the sleeves are kind of sheer and they also have like a lattice. Is it lattice or lettuce? I don't know. I want to say lattice, but I don't know. <laughs> Trim on the sleeve along with the neckline and then also at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know. This is just kind of like one of those pieces that you pick up to just kind of play with. I just wanted to kind of like play around and see what kind of looks. It is a large, so I wish it was a medium because that would fit me better. So I might list this, but I uh, also might keep it just play around with, play dress up with. This thing is probably the weirdest thing that I bought. It is a corset. It's a size 40. It kind of looks like a 1X to me. It's a halter corset with like ribbon ties. Really beautiful. And then it's got like a double lace up in the back. I just feel like someone might buy this. And my mom sold a corset that she got on Poshmark for like 40 bucks. So that's the reason I was influenced by her. I was like, oh, well, let's see what happens. And like someone might buy this for a costume, like a little devil costume or something would be kind of cool. If you're looking for a red halter corset in a 1X, I found it for you. <laughs> then I grabbed this cute American Eagle top. This is an XL. It's a really pretty coral top. I just, I don't know. I just thought this one was pretty. It's got this like kind of bustier top with the claps going down the middle, flounce at the bottom. Just a fun, cute little top. This one I'm going to sell for super cheap. This is also another star of the show. So my husband actually found this one. It's this gorgeous Calvin Klein dress. It's a beautiful green color and it had the tag still on it going for $139. Obviously I had to buy that. It's really, really pretty. I found the stock pictures online. Um, it's just like this collared dress with these fun like bows on the sleeve. I really like the pattern as well. Really good quality. It's like a really heavy dress. Um, yeah, again, this is one that I'm like, oh, which was my size, but I am selling this one. It's super cool. Whenever you can find something with a tag that's so exciting, but when you can find something with a tag that's originally 140, that's like double as exciting. This next thing is also like the same color, this really fun green. It's like a velour sweatshirt. I was bummed that I couldn't find any pants that match it because online they come in like this matching tracksuit but super cool nonetheless. It's by pink. It's like barely worn. The inside isn't pilled at all. And on Mercari, the green ones were going for like 70 bucks. I listed it for a lot cheaper than that. This one I'm kind of bummed about. I thought it was a college. It's not. It is a local high school because it's uh, an Under Armour zip up and usually college gear sells really well and it had the tag on it. Um, but this is a local high school. So I actually posted this on Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully um, a local parent or teacher wants um, to buy this. So not a total loss, but again, it's only $1.25. So like didn't miss out that much. This is a super cute Madewell top that I found. I've listed this one. It's a really fun like tan and cream gingham with buttons down the front. This is still on the Madewell website for 55 bucks. Really cute. I feel like this will sell pretty well. Madewell stuff usually does. The t-shirts not as much, but like if you can find blouses and stuff that's actively on the, the website, that's like a really good find. Um, I don't like this color on me, otherwise I would keep it. This is like tannish color. It's like too warm for my skin tone, I think. Then I got this Levi's t-shirt. It's a crew neck. It's called the Perfect Crew. Um, it has the Levi's logo on the pocket. This will probably be just a quick flip to like five, 10 bucks on this one. And this is my biggest flop from the haul. I can't believe I got bamboozled. It's this top. It's kind of cool, right? This is what tricked me, this thick gold pin that has like this pearl on the top, which is like kind of cool to me. Um, and then it says Zara. This is somebody's homemade item that they tried to like <laughs> sell as Zara. They clearly like sewed the tag just right in there. There's no sizing, there's no ID number or anything. And then the stitching on the inside is like very clearly like homemade. I'm just gonna redonate this one. I got bamboozled, happens to the best of us. I feel like you get like this brain fog when you're at the bins because it's like so overstimulating and you're like, in 
this like very like bins bins mode you're like in the goodwill bins mindset and so i think i got brain fog and i just picked this up it's definitely not zara like this is definitely somebody trying which is such a weird thing to try to counterfeit zara and if you get caught selling counterfeit on poshmark that's like a good way to get your account shut down so i'm just gonna redonate this kind of bummed but it's fine this is an express dress with the tag still on it my husband also found this one he was finding all of the, the dresses with the tag just kind of a basic bodycon with this like cut out the tag says it's 70 dollars. i would literally probably sell this for like 15 and then i got this h m skirt and it's in like that classic Burberry pattern. This would probably be a good quick sell as well. Probably like $10, $15 on that one. And the thing about Poshmark is sometimes you don't really necessarily want every item that you buy to be like these big ticket items. You kind of want to post a lot. The more you post, the more your account is going to get pushed out in the algorithm, the more people are going to recognize your stuff. I like having small little sales of $10, $15, even $8. As long as I'm making some kind of profit, even if I only make a dollar, as long as I get a sale and it's a five star review, like getting that engagement really boosts your account and makes uh, your account more profitable in the long run so I like little you know onesies twosies just like crew neck tees and skirts and this one's kind of a cool wild card too these are these vintage asics like workout pants they're kind of like windbreaker but then they also have a little bit of a lining in them so I'm guessing that they're like I don't know just like winter track pants maybe but I just couldn't pass them up there it's like this really cool color and whenever you can find vintage items that are unstained I like to grab those this is a super old school tag and the logo the lettering just looks really old as well just like a fun a fun pickup for me but yeah that was everything i got for the goodwill bins like i said everything is listed on my poshmark linked down below unless i said otherwise uh that is a lot of stuff for 30 dollars i could go to a goodwill and get maybe three things for 30 dollars or i could go to maybe like the salvation army and get like five things for 30 dollars <laughs> so if you're a reseller the goodwill bins is where you want to go the bins have the best price really underrated in my opinion i think a lot of people think of the goodwill bins as this really really like gross place to be but i go in without gloves and i have no problem like i haven't come across anything grosser than any other normal thrift store you know it's used clothing it definitely has like that scent that thrift store scent to it but i wash all of my clothes i know some resellers don't i do because i store the clothes in my house so i wash everything after i bring it home from the thrift store and then after that i mean these are all great items that uh, we can find a really nice home for and that i can make some money on <laughs> so if you liked anything from this video and you wanted to buy it head on over send me a message or a comment on my wash mark and i will be sure to get you a good deal that's it for me and i'll see you in my next one mm -hmm.